Good morning, my good people. It's your girl Erina TL. If you've been watching and following my previous vlogs, you know I'm in a Lebtong district that is in Apala. Is it the village? I've forgotten the exact village name. You know there is a parish and all that. So, but you know I'm in the village in northern Uganda that is in Lango region, and I appreciate you for all the love you've shown on my other vlogs. Now, I want to to share really. It's early morning. I'm seated at the roadside. Yeah, that is home. That is home. But I'm seated at the roadside, you guys. Why? I came here at around two minutes past six. I'm sharing you with you my biggest challenge in village. I love village. I love village. I would choose it any time over town. But my biggest challenge in village, be it in my village or any village most of the villages i go to in uganda even when i was in kazo it's the same thing it was happening when i was in my village it was the same thing when i where i make bricks from because it's not more in town same thing was happening the network mobile network for connection you guys You've always had me on live streams when I was, I used to do daily live streams in Kampala. That was the road to 4K hours. I used to complain, oh, the network, the buffer, and the what? You guys, this side it is, <laughs> Kampala is worse. The network in Kampala, by the way, is so bad and worse. This side is, okay, is there something like wasa or badesta, badesta, something like that. Like, to make a call, imagine I had to leave home. This this probably is where I was moving around the entire place like I'm all over. Even people look at me and be laughing with my phone up like this looking for a network. So currently I'm at the roadside and people started seeing me here when it was still a little dark. I'm trying to upload a video, create space in my phone. <laughs> but for one hour now, an hour has passed and only 200 MBs, only 200 MBs have uploaded you cannot believe this so what is the morale of the story okay i always complain in the city but it's always good to appreciate the the little we have and be patient in the city i used to complain every time all the time but you guys i'm learning to be patient the hard way i'm not saying we settle for mediocrity no not at all i'm not talking about settling for mediocrity but all i'm saying is mediocrity should never be your portion in the first place no no mediocres are never named anywhere so okay maybe among the failures so never settle for mediocrity not for anything so what i'm trying to say i have learned patience the hard way nothing tries my patient like a slow gadget and slow internet you guys it pisses me off just like someone who calls me and then asks me have you understood me if they know very well i don't have their number and then they can't introduce themselves you guys i say that because it is one thing that pieces me off to my nerve so i've learned patience the hard way all the mobile networks we have in uganda we have like maybe four if i may say airtel mtn afrisale what else okay those the main two mtn and airtel both of them are so weak this side you guys i don't know why they feel like there is no business this side there is no business because they they have not given them strong network if they had given them strong network there would be serious business taking place this side imagine this morning you hear motorbikes passing i am at an anthill seated here looking for network i always tell people about looking for anthills to get network and you guys laugh but in africa we do that you can even climb a tree i'm telling you so my aim with this is not to put my country down or but you never know who watches these videos. If you guys, MTN, Airtel, if you could do anything to improve the situation, please save a day. And I tell you, that's why Uganda is lagging so much behind when it comes to internet things, when it comes to internet business. Kenya has far left us, like far left us. So I just wanted to come and share with you my biggest challenge. Now, let me give you a crazy idea that came to my head yesterday. So yesterday, I wanted to... <laughs> upload a video so badly i was left with like three gbs of space and have a lot of videos to be uploaded to my phone actually that's that's one of the reasons i've not been consistent because where i am there is no network but very soon i'll be moving to town so I, a funny idea came to my head i'm like okay this tree what if i climb this tree and i go to the top of this tree won't i find network so as i was looking at it <laughs> 
<laughs> As I was looking at it, one of the people I stay with was like, don't tell me you're thinking of climbing a mountain. <laughs> that is how much I needed network. As in, to communicate, none of my mobile wallets is working. Like, I'm just there. You know, you guys, I didn't know. Okay, sometimes I claim, oh, I'm not addicted. But sometimes I feel it. Sometimes I feel, I'm like, okay, am I addicted to the social media or something? But I really don't think I am. But these days, it's that is the easiest way of communicating. I rarely make calls. I just always, I just always send a message. You're WhatsApping. You're checking on this. Like you have updates. I do not watch TV. I get my news from my phone. So for all the days I've been this side, or and I've spent quite a number of days, you guys. So for for all the days I've been this side, I do not know in, about any updates. I do not know about anything. So it's like I'm blocked out. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm, I'm blocked out. But everything else, I'm enjoying the village life. I'm enjoying everything. Maybe, okay, you guys, I can't complain a lot. Maybe I also needed to block myself away from all those things to get a peace of mind. Because by the time I came this side, I was so stressed, so strained. And it was too much for me. I was overwhelmed in town. So maybe I needed that. But then, you know, it's hard to accept even some things that are disguised. Some good things are these guys that come as challenges. It's hard to take them in. So I think all things work together for the good of us who believe. Every time I remember that, that all things work together for the good of us who believe, I get, I get to calm down. I really get to calm down. So I'm like, maybe I really need to be blocked from all these things happening, the news and all that, to gain my peace of mind, to, be, to refresh my head. Yes, all things work together for the good. So every time I remember that, even if I'm going to complain about something, I just keep calm. For as long as everything else is shifting on well in my life, I just keep calm. I'm not saying that I'm going to settle for bad things or for mediocrity because all things are going to work together for the good. No, but there is when um, it is happening as bad thing, but I'm seeing the positive thing out of it. And yes, I can settle for the positive vibe I'm getting from it. For example, here, I'm settling for the peace I'm getting from being blocked everywhere else. At first, I was like, okay, I'm not catching up with what is happening, what the swearing in, everything, the internet sagas and all that. But when I sat down, like I told you, I'm so intentional about my life recently. When I sat down to take it all in and I'm like, okay, what were all those things going to add on you? Basically, nothing much so i have this peace like i'm like i'm so peaceful in my heart and i'm okay uh, i've just chosen to be patient instead of complaining and um, lamenting all the time like i was in the first days i've just chosen to have peace in my heart be patient and move on with the journey swiftly so that's what I'm telling people. Always search out for the good in all the happenings. All the happenings in your life. So Because some things, there is good within it, but you will not see it until you you take time to understand the situation. Like me, I was complaining and all that. But you guys, the peace I've gotten from this side is not anywhere comparable to anything. And if people who know me, my friends know me, I value my peace more than anything else. So I am so peaceful. The path now chosen is patience. Let's learn patience, by the way. <laughs> I'm a patient person, but in those two areas, mm -mm, I've not been patient. When it comes to slow gadgets and and bad internet, I am not so patient. I can decide to abandon a phone just because it's freezing and all that. So, But I am learning patience the hard way, which is good. With this world, we need to be patient. Patient with people patient with God, patient with even ourselves, patient with even ourselves. It is needed, yes. And I really appreciate you guys for watching. This side, I just said, and everything that comes to my mind that I really want to speak out or share with someone or talk to someone, I will talk it out here and i appreciate you guys you're always there for me and hearing from me so let's continue on our roadside on this ant hill as we get our network and upload this video right on time see you in the next vlog i appreciate the love and i do not take anything for granted at all not at all see you